How you doing? My name is Mike Ulrich. I'm here today again with Marine Max Venice. We're going to be doing a morning walkthrough on the Boston Whaler 320 Vantage. Let's get started. <laughs> The 320 Vantage is the largest of the Vantage lineup. The first one's going to be the 240, the 280, which you can see in one of my previous videos, and this one, the largest, the 320. You'll notice right off the bat how massive this cockpit is. It is huge. It is set up for the ultimate entertaining that you can do throughout the entire boat. One of the main areas of interest is always this area over here. So this side console with the Corian countertop is going to be set up with the summer kitchen package. Right under here, you got your awesome Kenyan cooktop. Nice and easy to access, easy to clean. You're gonna have your live well located right here. Behind you're gonna have a nice, easy little sink, something to store in, put some ice in, it does have a drain. Over here is going to be your sink with your hose, and below you're going to have your nice refrigerator. And the nice thing the 320 Vantage gives you is like the other Vantages, you have multiple entry points throughout the boat. This one's gonna have your Boston Whaler door, opens in, Gives you that nice easy boarding right from the side so when you're at the sandbar you got easy on and off you can walk off the dock easy and of course in vantage fashion you're gonna have a side door the rear transom entry and then also up on the bow as well like i said this boat is known for entertaining in multiple different ways right here in the back of the boat you're gonna have a large area you're gonna have the awesome whaler seat that deploys look at that you can easily sit four wide across that seat you're going to have more seating right here with an also a cockpit table that mounts here to turn this area into a little dinette. So one of the coolest, most innovative features that this boat gives you is the double row of seating that they have set up here because there's more than one way that you can set it up. As configured here, as you can see, you have seating side to side, you know, back to back. Whaler trigger, you can configure this into multiple different ways. You got that setting up, chase lounge facing forward. Simple pull the trigger, locks it in, chase lounge facing aft so you can enjoy the view, or lay it completely flat and have a sunbed for the day. But that's not the only thing the seat does. Simple hidden trigger right down here, give that a pull. Now swivels complete 180 facing aft now. You'll notice that right here, same on the back of the boat, you've got another table mount that you can have. So you can have two tables on this boat. One for a little dinette, like almost a restaurant booth style seating here. And then again, aft with one in the back with the fold out rear transom seats. Moving over to the helm, we're gonna have twin Raymarine 12 inch screens on this. All of your rocker switches, instead of rockers, they're not toggles, move all the way up to the top that are easy to see. Nice and easy, lights up on or off. There's no guessing in what position it is. Another great thing that Whaler does is again, they move the buttons up a little bit higher so they're easy to reach while you're driving and you're not gonna accidentally bump it if you get hit by a little bit of a wave. The steering wheel is mounted to a tilt base so it's gonna always be changed to be most comfortable to whoever's driving. Up here you'll notice the Fusion radio head unit. You're going to have your hook in for your VHF and your Mercury vessel view. Over here next to your throttles, you'll notice that this one is equipped a little bit different, but Whaler likes to give you the option. Instead of having the joystick, you can also opt for a bow thruster on this boat. Over here to the port side of the boat is where you're going to actually have somewhat of a cabin. This is a day boat, but in this cabin, it gives you the opportunity for the little ones to get out of the sun for a little bit. You can get a TV mounted in there, a little drop down desk that actually comes down from the side, but it's nice to break up your day. If someone's hot, someone wants to take a nap, or even if you're doing something overnight, you have the option to do this on this boat. Another cool thing that Whaler did is you'll notice on the sides is this big black piece. This is actually a nice big piece of tempered tinted glass. So it allows natural lighting to be in there. So it's not a nice, you know, dark and dingy boat. You get that nice natural light in there that makes the boat nicer. Over here to the starboard side, right in front of the helm is where the head compartment's actually located on this boat. Again, to match the other side, you do have that nice tinted piece of glass above that allows for that natural lighting inside. Notice that when you open the head compartment, there's a drop down step to make entry nice and easy. There's also a bench rest that will go over the toilet. And then right in front of you, you're going to have that nice Whaler Corian countertop with another sink and uh, access to fresh water, of course. 
Now onto the bow of the 320 Vantage. What we've done is to show you how versatile this boat is, taking all the cushions off. You remove the cushions from the front of this boat and staying true to whaler form, you've got the option to fish. All of this is nice non-skid casting platform that you can stand up here and easily work the boat. So like I said, you can take it, stay on the water with the family, hang out at the sandbar, go to dinner, snap with the fingers, pop those cushions off, and you got a fishing boat right in the front. Up on the front here, nice and concealed, you're gonna have your beach boarding ladder with the windlass concealed below. Of course, also up on the bow to match the transom, you're going to have your fresh water washed down, easy to access, rinse the feet off when you get on and off the boat or clean off your anchor. One of the options that the customer selected on this boat is they did the blackout piping on it, which me personally, I'm a huge fan of because it breaks it up. Most boats are always going to be the white frame. In the black, ties in nice with the windshield. It just gives you a little bit different accent and kind of turns more heads when you're on the water, in my opinion. Also right here in the back, you're gonna notice that this one is equipped with a sure shade. So when you're back here in the boat entertaining, sitting comfortable, you can kick that sure shade out, bring it all the way to the back and continue to shade through the whole back of the boat. Back here in the transom, this one is equipped with twin Mercury 350s. You can equip this boat with a couple different options. Standard is actually gonna be 250s and then jump to the 300s, 350s, or go all the way maxed out and slap twin 400s on this one. So that's it. That is my walkthrough of the Boston Whaler 320 Vantage. Again, I'm Mike Ulrich here with Marine Max Venice. You can give me a call at the number below. Thanks for watching.